Uh, we get a little statement from Dana saying that Clint Trickett will be the starting quarterback. What have you seen? What what went into that decision that you guys decided this early? It, it's worth getting it out there. Well, I mean, if you if you evaluate last year's tape, which we've watched it countless times, I mean, when when he was healthy, he played at a high level. This group going into last year was a very inexperienced group. Counting himself, I mean, he just got here in August, so I mean. With the rules changed like they are this summer, it probably would have been easier for him to start game one last year, you know, when he came in because we could work with him. But with that being said, if you if you looked at the games he played in, I mean, and he was healthy, he played at a high level. The two big 12 teams we beat, he played in. And so that group right now, in our opinion, needs leadership. You know, they look to him anyway. I mean, we feel like it's clear cut in our mind or we wouldn't do it. And so it's going to give him confidence. You know, when you when you know you're the guy, and there's no questions about it. You got the coaching staff, you know, fully behind you. It changes your demeanor. It changes your attitude. So it's only going to help him in the long run. It's only going to help our unit in the long run. So we felt like it was clear cut in our minds. So why not go ahead and do it? What have you been able to work with him or you know, any of the offense on now that you do have this availability in the summer? Watching film is probably the biggest thing. You know, we, we get film study two times a week. We get to go out there with them, but it's no balls or anything. So, and you can't have a group together. And so it's you got to segment it, and you got to doing quarterback drills with no balls is tough. You know, you got to manipulate some ways to get things done. But at least we're with them, and you know, just sitting there watching film with them is huge because and. Previous years, you couldn't do anything with them. And so I think just being around the guys is extremely important. And then there's always things you tweak and whatever, the evolution of every year-to-year -year deal. And so being able to sit down and talk with those guys through that is going to alleviate some some of that stuff in camp. Uh, do you think he was able to learn anything during spring ball just, just watching? And I guess he was next to you a lot. I think so. I mean, I mean you sit in meetings. You watch tape, you're out there. I mean, if you go through that whole process and you don't, it's probably your own fault, right? But there is a process of learning things that's motor memory, too, you know, that you got to actually do it. You don't learn things by drawing it up on a whiteboard. And so you, you actually have to go out there and, and rep the stuff. So, I mean, I think last year is probably more valuable experience than the spring, obviously, to him because he's, he's repping things in the game. And so... I think he got better, you know, the things he was deficient in when he got here versus our offense versus other teams' offense, as, um, you know, the quick game stuff and stuff like that. I think his balls getting out accurately, he definitely improved with that throughout the course of the year. And I think if you watch the last game, Iowa State, we played offensively at a pretty high level. We lost the game, but I thought he played pretty well. And so you know, when he's healthy, he played at a high level. When he's not healthy, and much like a lot of other people, you know, walking the earth, he didn't play at a high level. So, do you think it was important? To so, is there is this subject to change before the Alabama game? I doubt it. But I mean, you know, it's not a perfect world. I mean, you gotta we gotta go through camp too. And so, but right now, I mean, he's a starter. I mean, he's a starter for the Alabama game. We're gonna give him as much reps as it takes to get him ready. And I mean, obviously, you're probably gonna change that hat tomorrow, right? So, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> is, is it important for you? Uh, is it important for you to have made this decision so early and allow him to be the guy leading up to the? I over? think that's the most important thing. It's for the group. Mm. You know, it's 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 as much for him as it is for the whole group, in my opinion. You know, I know, you know, playing quarterback and this and that. When you have when you have the whole staff behind you. It's not like we just came out the other day and said, okay, we're going to name him the starter. I mean, this is something we talked about, we watched, we evaluated. And there's no doubt in our opinion he's the best option. And so when he's the best option, he needs to be the starter. This unit right here is, was, in my opinion, looking for somebody. They need to look to somebody to be the leader. It's hard to be the leader when you're not the starter. You know, I mean, you can do, you can have all the intangibles in the world, but if you're not the starter, then it's hard to be the leader. And so when you sit there and talk about a competition, a competition, a competition, then those guys are, are who am I looking to, you know? And so I think it clears up things with the guys around him, and it clears up a lot of things with him. And so now he can, he can you know, he can have a clear mind, you know, relax, get better, and not worry about sitting here trying to win the job every day.